Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna do the real review for the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G. Now, just like all of my other real reviews, I'm gonna start off by talking about everything that I don't like, and then I get into everything that I do like. Now, on a side note, this is not a professional review. This is very informal. I'm just gonna talk to y'all the same way I would talk to one of my friends who asked me what I thought about the phone. All right, so grab your popcorn and your thought juice. Let's have a little bit of fun. Now, I'm gonna start off by answering two questions that everybody been asking me all week. Number one, you got a Galaxy S20 Ultra. Should you upgrade and get the Galaxy S21 Ultra? Now, usually I would say no, it's pretty much the same phone, but this is one of those rare times that I would say yes, this is a worthy upgrade. Now, there's four reasons why I would upgrade. Number one, the look, all right? <laughs> look at this. The look and the build quality is so much better on the Galaxy S21 Ultra. All right, this is the five gangster. That's what we're gonna call it from now on. This is the new five gangster. The look and the build quality, so much better. Now, if you notice on the older version, both of these have glass backs, but this one is the fingerprint magnet. Look at the size of that camera hump. And they had to write it out a hundred times zoom. Like you didn't know, <laughs> like you didn't spend 1200 bucks on this, you didn't know. They didn't need to write that out. Unnecessary branding, I don't like that. All right, so this one, minimum branding. Look at the camera hump, everything is nice and flush. And this color right here, all right? This Wesley Snipes Amistad black version right here, this is just a joy to look at. This is one of those phones that I love rocking, butt naked, raw dog with no case. I just wanna see this one. All right, no fingerprints. This is the secret agent phone right here. All right, I am feeling this. So I would upgrade personally just for the look. But wait, there's more. Next, the display. Now on the S20, you got the curved screen display. Now y'all know how much I hate the curved screen displays, especially if you like me and you got big fat fingers, you're gonna get a lot of accidental touches. All right, let me zoom out a little. <laughs> you're gonna get a lot of accidental touches. Now with the new one, you still got a little bit of a curved screen display. It's very subtle, but it is a little bit curved, but it's way more flat. So you're gonna get no accidental presses, all right? Accidental touches, accidental presses, whatever you wanna call it, you're not gonna get those. All right, so that's a huge upgrade for me. Next, the fingerprint sensor on the front is bigger, which means instant access to your phone. No more going like this, looking for the fingerprint sensor, now it's gonna open 100% of the time, and this fingerprint sensor is obviously, not obviously, but I would say is easily the best fingerprint sensor that Samsung has made yet. Now it's right up there with Xiaomi, it's up there with OnePlus, it's up there with LG. This is a real fingerprint sensor, and part of the reason why it's so much better is because it's bigger. So that's a huge upgrade from the Galaxy S20. And the last thing, now this is the biggest upgrade for me, the camera. All right, now remember when you first got your Galaxy S20, before the updates, you had a lot of issues with the focus. Now you got laser autofocus, you're not gonna have that issue. But for me, the biggest upgrade with the camera is zoom lock. Part of the fun of having 100 times scumbag zoom, all right, space zoom, is being able to use it. Now if you use 100 times zoom, once you zoom in 100 times, you're gonna notice the image is super shaky. It's almost impossible to get a good shot with a 100 times zoom on the Galaxy S20. Now with the S20 Ultra, S21 Ultra, I, S20, I gotta, I'm gonna have to, I'm, I'm gonna, I, look, during this video, I might call this the S20. Y'all know what I'm talking about, the S21, all right? The five gangster. Now with the five gangster, you got zoom lock. So when you use the 100 times scumbag zoom, I'm gonna show y'all some dope pictures that I took. You can hit zoom lock. You're not gonna have that shakiness anymore. Now you can actually enjoy your scumbag zoom. And on the side note, people keep asking me why I call it scumbag zoom. That's actually a little joke that I had because when I was testing out the uh, S20, the 100 times space zoom, I was in Las Vegas, I was in a hotel on the 22nd floor. Now I'm on the balcony zooming down to people standing outside the pool. So there's ladies sunbathing with bikinis on. I'm space zooming right down to the bikini. Now, I didn't take any pictures, but if I wanted to, 
I could have been a real scumbag and got some nice pitches. That's why I call it scumbag zoom. It's just a joke, all right? Now, if you're a real scumbag, you're going to have fun with that zoom. Anyway, so those are my four reasons why I would upgrade from the Galaxy S20 to the S21 Ultra 5G. All right, it's a worthy upgrade. Now, as far as the processor, Snapdragon 865 versus 888, you're not really gonna notice that in day-to-day -day use, all right? You're not really upgrading just because of the numbers on paper. This one is actual upgrades, all right? The flat screen, the fingerprint sensor, and the camera, those are real upgrades, not to mention, look at the look, all right? Now, when you're sitting down at that restaurant and you wanna get your little Instagram picture, you got your drink, you got your big plate of lobster and all that. You want to have the look at me, you know what I'm saying? Look at me, I'm living life picture. With this one, you got to walk around with the microfiber cleaning cloth to get that great shot. With this one, look at this. The back of these, no fingerprints, no wipe down necessary. Drop it right out of your pocket. Bang, look at me. All right. Next, if you got a Galaxy, this is the next question everybody been asking me. If you got a Galaxy Note 20, should you upgrade and get the Galaxy S20? S21 Ultra. All right, let me say that again. If you got a Galaxy Note 20, should you upgrade and get the Galaxy S21 Ultra? The answer is no. All right, this is a big resounding no. All right, no, no, no ifs, ands, or buts. No, don't do it to yourself. Because chances are, if you bought the Galaxy Note 20, you bought it because of the S Pen. Now, with the Galaxy S21, you do have S Pen functionality. You're going to have to go out and buy one of these S Pens. It doesn't come with a case. All right, so you can store the S Pen, but you're not gonna get the Bluetooth S Pen. And that's part of the reason why the Galaxy Note 20 is still a goat of Samsung phones, other than the Galaxy Z Fold 2. That's the number one goat, but that's not really a phone, that's more like a hybrid phone slash tablet. When it comes to straight up phones that have durability, all right, because with your Z Fold, if you drop that shit down the stairs, you're gonna be in for a bad day, all right? You can't use an S Pen with the Z Fold, you can't, it's not water resistant, I don't really call that a phone, that's more like a, a hybrid, all right? That's more like a luxury item. When I'm talking about phones, phones that you can have in your pocket and use day to day, take it to the beach, take it in the water, go crazy with it. The Galaxy Note 20 is still the best phone out because of that Bluetooth S Pen. Now look, watch my video for it for yourself. One of the reasons why I love the Bluetooth S Pen is when I'm having one, one of my little chill sessions, I eat one of those magic brownies, you know what I'm saying, I'm ready to hang out. I put my phone on a little dock like this, I grab the Bluetooth S Pen, I use a uh, mirror share, all right? So I got whatever's playing on my phone on the big screen TV, usually it's music, usually it's YouTube videos, and while I'm watching them videos, and I'm leaning back in the chair, zoning out, I grab the Bluetooth S Pen, whop, switch to the next song. Wop, switch to the next video. If I'm having a little photo shoot with my daughter, I have the phone set up like this at a restaurant, grab the Bluetooth S Pen, press the button, bong, take the picture. All right, so if you got a Galaxy Note 20 and you love the Bluetooth S Pen, if you upgrade, you're gonna get an S Pen, but it's gonna be the standard S Pen, no Bluetooth functionality. So I would say don't upgrade, all right? You already got the GOAT phone, enjoy your GOATness. Now, let me just say this. Samsung is coming out with the uh, Galaxy S Pen Pro. Hopefully it will be Bluetooth. It's gonna be a little bit bigger and fatter. It's gonna be more like the Apple Pencil. The problem with that is there's still no way to store it directly onto your phone. So you're gonna have to get a case like this that adds a little bit of extra width, add a little bit of extra width to it to store that S Pen. And if the S Pen Pro is Bluetooth, you're gonna have to charge it some way. Now these phones do have power share. Maybe they'll make you charge it on the back of the phone. Who knows? Maybe they'll come with a little battery. Who knows? All right, maybe maybe I'll put one of those little, um, you know, the batteries you get from the laser pointers, the little teeny batteries. Maybe you'll have one of those and you buy a six pack of batteries. Who knows? But whatever it is, it's never going to be the same as being able to inject your S Pen. <laughs> inject. <laughs> you got to inject your S Pen, S Pen to the bottom of the phone. I don't know why I just chose that word <laughs> instead of just place. I right? place your S Pen into the bottom of the phone and let it charge up. I, you can't inject it with the S21. You can with the Note 20. Like I said, if you got a Note 20, keep it. You still a goat. Now, the one thing that I will say that I forgot to mention, as far as the upgrades from the S20 to the S21, you will lose the SD card. All right, you will lose that SD card slot. So that is kind of a downgrade, especially if you shoot 4K videos and you like to go crazy with your scumbag wallet with all your SD cards in it and all your little scumbag movies on it. You're gonna lose that feature if you upgrade. 
All right, so keep that in mind. But other than that, I would still upgrade and just start, start using the cloud a little bit more often. All right, so now with that being said, let's talk about everything that I don't like. All right, number one, the price. Starts at 1200 bucks. Y'all know what I'm getting ready to say, so let's all clear our throats and say it together. <clears throat> the price is too goddamn high. All right, Samsung, calm down. All right, 1200 bucks. I don't like that. I, I don't like that. I don't like co-signing any $1,000 Android phones. I don't like doing that. But here's the thing. All right, here's the big but. If you're going to spend 1000 bucks for a phone, this is the kind of phone that you want. Now, look, the only reason that this is just my personal my personal opinion, but I think the only reason that Samsung could still get away with charging twelve hundred bucks for these kind of phones is because companies like Xiaomi is still not mainstream in the USA. Now, if Xiaomi was mainstream in the USA, Samsung wouldn't be able to get away with charging twelve hundred bucks for this phone right here. All right. Now, look, this is twelve hundred bucks. This one is around eight, nine hundred bucks for the Mi 10 Ultra. Basically. All right, basically on paper, these phones are the same. All right, they're basically the same. Now, of course, you got a little bit of better processor. You might have a little bit more features here and there, but pound for pound, all right, pound for pound, this phone right here charges from zero to 123 minutes. All right, look at the camera set up on the back. It's ridiculous. You got scumbag zoom. You got fast wireless charge. This phone charges wirelessly faster than this phone charges wired. Okay, now you could get a Mi 10 Ultra right now for around 800 bucks. Y'all see me do the Mi 11 the other day. That phone is 700 bucks. The Mi 11 versus the Galaxy S21 Plus, I would take the Mi 11 for 700 bucks and take that extra 300 bucks, go out and get a smartwatch, go get some dope earbuds, take your girl to dinner, do something. All right, Samsung wouldn't be able to get away with charging these kind of prices if companies like Huawei and Xiaomi and Poco, you know, these kind of companies, if they were mainstream in the USA, it would be a problem, but they not. So you gotta pay to play, so let's play. But as far as the price, 1200 bucks, I don't like that. I, I don't like that, that's too get damn high. All right, you remember back in the days when you went to the store with your moms <laughs> and you went in the grocery store, you went in the toy store and you grabbed something and your moms put her lips close together and was like, put that back on that goddamn shelf. That's how I feel about these phones. Samsung, lower these goddamn prices. All right, that's GAT, G-A-T, lower these goddamn prices. Next, no charger in the box. Now, y'all know how I feel about that already, all right? Watch my Galaxy S21 Plus unboxing if you want the full rant. I'm not going to go into another whole tirade about how much, oh, big word alert, all right? I'm not going to go into a, to a whole production on how much I don't like the no charge in the box, but I don't like that, all right? At 1200 bucks, the charger should come in the box. Now, the thing that makes it even worse is this is 25 watt fast charging. Now, everybody got your old Samsung chargers. Y'all watch my video when I, when I unboxed the Galaxy S9 Plus and you seen the charger in the box. Those are not 25 watt fast chargers. So theoretically, if you got an old charger at home, you missing out on one of the features that you paid 1200 bucks for. You spend 1200 bucks, you should be able to use all of those features right out of the box. Think about it like this. Imagine you went to a car dealership. You maybe went to a BMW lot and you say, you know what, let me get that new M3. And the, and the uh, guy at the dealership is like, yo, you should buy this. It got 500 horsepower. And you're like, okay, good, $80,000, let me get that. And then as soon as you buy it and you get home, you realize, oh, in order to get 500 horsepower, you gotta go back to the dealer and buy an upgraded turbo in order to fully enjoy the 500 horsepower. You're gonna be like, that's bullshit. I just spent $80,000. I wanna drive off the lot doing 500 horsepower. Same thing. You just spent 1200 bucks on this phone. When you get home, you wanna unbox it, plug it in, and start fast charging your new device. You can't do that, all right? No charge in the box, that's trash. Now, I think Samsung, the easiest way to fix this situation, cause look, now I understand, now I made a joke about the environment and all that, but I do care about the environment, you know what I'm saying? I do care. The easiest way for Samsung to remedy that problem would be give you an option, all right? Pull a Xiaomi, all right, pull a Xiaomi, when you go to samsung.com and you buy your phone, all they should have is on the bottom is a little box that says, check this box if you want a charger, check this box if you want to support the environment and go buy your own charger later. Simple, all right? That's a simple fix, check the box. 
I, I, I think 90% of the people would say, you know what, let me get that charger. All right, let me get that charger. Even if you got 100 chargers at home, let me get that charger. Who You can never have enough chargers. All right? We're not talking about the paper that comes with the phone, like the usual books and shit. Save those. Nobody, no one, all right? no one reads those. All right, so Samsung, if you want to help with the environment, leave the books out of the box. Nobody cares about those. All, right? the, 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 all of the little extra plastic parts in the box, get rid of those. All right? But nobody's going to say, oh, I got too many chargers. All right? We all travel. We all go places. We all got company that comes to your house. You know, when your, your company comes over, the first thing they say, Yo, you got to charge it. You could be like, hey, you know what? You're one of those begging ass people that's always looking for a charger. I'm not, I, I'm not thinking about nobody particular. <clears throat> Mo. All right. Every time Mo comes to my house, yo, you got a charger, you got a charger. I always like, look, take this charger with you. All right. Use this charger and take it with you. All right. With your begging ass. <laughs> begging. All right. Nobody's going to say, okay, I got too many chargers. All right. So, Samsung, give us the option to have the charger, especially for 25 watts. You know, that's something that you're going to have to buy. If, you, if your last phone was a Galaxy S9 Plus, you don't got a 25 watt charging brick. Add that to the price of your $1,200 phone. I don't like that. I don't like that. Next, no headphone jack. That's just whack. Hashtag bars. I'm not even going to gripe about the no headphone jack. All right, the headphone jacks on premium phones are pretty much going the way of the dodo. All right, I don't really care about that. But the thing that I do care about is no dongle in the box. Again, bring it back to that S21 Plus unboxing when I did the S9 S uh, S9 Plus in that video. You remember that unboxing experience? You had headphones, you got a dongle, you got everything. If you're gonna take away the headphone jack and you're not gonna give us headphones in the box, okay, cool, you know what I'm saying? I'm starting to, we gotta, we gotta roll with the times, but at least the dongle, give us the dongle. Now I know what y'all haters getting ready to say, Bluetooth headphones, Bluetooth headphones, Bluetooth headphones. Look, man, it's bigger than Bluetooth headphones, all right? Everything don't, don't revolve around Bluetooth headphones. All right? Now, if you somebody like me, I like to DJ. I got my little DJ booth set up. When I use my DJ controller and I want to use the playlist on my phone, you're going to have to plug your phone into the DJ controller. And that uses a 3.5 auxiliary cable. If you don't got the dongle, you can't plug it in. All right? Same thing for me. I got an old school car. If I want to use the aux cable in the car, I need the dongle. Now, again, I know somebody's going to say, get a Bluetooth transmitter. You're not gonna spend all of this money on a thousand watt amp and two two 12 inch subs and all that to, to distort your music using a wireless connection. You're not gonna do that, all right? You want the wired connection for top sound quality. Ask anybody that has a real system, they'll tell you wired connection is gonna give you better sound than a Bluetooth transmitter. The bottom line is 1200 bucks, that dongle might cost Samsung a dollar or two, whatever. Throw the dongle in the box, all right? Throw the dongle in the box or do the same thing when you're at checkout all right when you get ready to buy this new phone and you go to checkout do you want to do you do you want to charge it check yes do you want a dongle check yes do you want the usb type c headphones check yes you're already spending 1200 bucks that's little stuff that they can just throw in there now if you if you're somebody that hates wired headphones you're gonna check no i right? check no maybe i don't want the wired headphones even though i suspect 99% of people are just gonna check, yes, give me everything. I, I spent 1200 bucks, I want a thing. Not everything, I want a thing. That's how we say it in Queens. Give me a thing. Who's gonna check, no, I don't want headphones. But the point is, they should give you that option. All right, so Samsung, throw the dongle in the box for all of us bootleg DJs. Not to mention, I'm trying to learn how to play guitar. Y'all right, remember that video I did for the, um, the, 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 the guitar stick? You gotta plug that in to your phone using a 3.5 cable. Again, now personally, I got about three dongles laying around, but for twelve hundred bucks, let me get one more. I, I no dongle in the box. I don't like that. Next, battery five thousand milliamps. On paper, that sounds like a beast, but the battery life on this phone could be better, especially Sam. Especially that the fact that Samsung is not going for the thinnest and lightest phone on the market. This is a big, giant, heavy phone. All right, they're not, they're not advertising this as, this is the new lightest phone in the market, it's paper thin. This is a big, heavy beast, all right? So for 1200 bucks, the phone is already heavy. I think 99% of people would say, you know what? I don't mind having it a little bit heavier, but dropping a 6,000 milliamp battery, or let's just go crazy. Give me a 7,000 milliamp battery so power users like me can have the phone on max brightness and use the phone all day, all night with no problems. 
All right, 5,000 milliamps, that's cool. All right, that's cool in the game, but this should be 6,000 milliamps, 7,000. They could just go crazy, all right? This, is, this phone is already heavy. <laughs> you put a case on it, it's even heavier. Who's gonna care if it's a little bit heavier to get an extra 1,000 milliamps battery? Not me. You might care, you might. Look, if you really care about that, then this ain't the phone for you anyway because it's already mad big and heavy. This is one of the heaviest phones that I got. Make it a little bit heavy, Samsung, and throw in that 6,000 milliamp battery so I can use my scumbag brightness all day long. I don't like that, all right? <laughs> 5,000 milliamp battery, that ain't enough. All right, that ain't enough. Next, charging speeds, all right? 25 watt fast charging in 2021 on a $1,200 phone is trash. All right, let's just keep it a buck. That's trash. Now look, I don't, I hate turning these kind of videos into comparison videos, but I have to, all right? I have to because you need to see what else is on the market. A lot of y'all, not, not, but then again, a lot of y'all that watch these kind of videos, first of all, if you're at home watching a phone review, then you kind of have your, you kind of know about tech a little bit, all right? But there's a lot of people, a lot of my boys right now, when I pull out this phone, they'd be like, what is that? They never heard of this. What is that? Xiaomi phones, this phone charges, all right, from zero to 123 minutes. All right, 65 watt fast charging. That's insane. Even the Mi 11 I did the other day for 700 bucks, 55 watt fast charging. All right, here's the charging brick, 55 watt fast charging. 2021, there's no reason that you should be, you should be spending $1,200 on a phone that has 25 watt fast charging that's gonna take you two hours to charge up your phone. That, that, that's, 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 that's not acceptable. All right, Samsung, now look, I know Samsung, the people in the executive offices, as soon as you mention the word battery, they'd be like, no, 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 no. After the whole Galaxy Note 7 debacle, all right, after that tragic incident, I know I know whoever owns Samsung, if you mention the word battery around them, they like, yo, nah, nah. Don't talk about no goddamn batteries around me, bro. You know what I'm saying? But look, Samsung, the Note 7, that tragic situation, Time has already healed those wounds, all right? Ain't nobody buying Samsung phones now worrying about what happened with the Galaxy Note 7, all right? Those days came and went. It's time to get back up on the horse, all right? Start taking some more chances. Give us some bigger batteries. Give us some more fast and charging speeds. Especially if you think about the fact that the Note 10 had 45 watt charging capabilities. Now, I made a video. I think I was in uh, London or somewhere. It's a little bullshit hotel room. And I made a video charging the Galaxy Note 10 with the 45 watt charger that I bought from Samsung versus the stock charger, which I think is, I don't know, 15, 20 watts, whatever it was. The 45 watt charger was dope. I mean, it really wasn't worth the extra price, but that should be part of the phone, right? That should be, for, the, for in the 2021, that should be standard, all right? 55 watts, all right? This is the new standard right here. One Plus, they doing it big with the fast chargers. Xiaomi's killing it with the fast chargers. Samsung, time to catch up. All right, so 25 watt fast charging, I don't like that. All right, I don't like that. Next, no micro SD card slot. All right, y'all yeah, know how much I like the slots? No micro SD card slot on your Galaxy S21 Ultra. I don't like that. Again, that's one of the things that you're gonna miss when you upgrade from your Galaxy S20 to the five gangster. Now look, I know I know the argument that's getting ready to be made. Some of y'all typing right now, stop typing because I know what y'all getting ready to say. Cloud storage, cloud storage. Everything is about cloud storage, cloud storage. Cloud storage ain't gonna help you when you're on a flight, all right? Now I don't care if you got GoGo <laughs> Go -Go Wi-Fi, all right? I don't care if you're sitting in first class and you, you pay for the premium internet. Cloud storage is not gonna help you when you're trying to watch one of your videos from uh, Google Plus, uh, your Google Photos. If you're trying to download one of your videos and watch it on that flight, cloud storage ain't gonna help you, all right? Cloud storage only works if you got a strong internet connection, not just a regular internet connection. Uh, internet connection. You gotta have a strong internet connection for cloud storage to be the same as having a micro SD card slot, all right? Think about that. Now. These phones right here, you're shooting 8K video. Now, normal people like me, I don't care about 8K video. All right, but if you're somebody like MKBHD, I right, shout out to my dude MKBHD. If you're trying to put out MKBHD quality videos, you're going to be shooting 8K, vi 8K videos, 4K videos. All right, if you want that Flossy Carter quality, then you're going to be shooting in 480p. 
<laughs> you're not gonna care about that. But if you're a real photographer or you're buying this phone because you're heavy into the cameras, you're gonna use 8K video. Now, if you think 8K video doesn't take up space in your phone, to, to try it, all right? Shoot 4K video, shoot 8K video, download all your favorite apps to your phone, and watch how fast that, 100, um, that 256 gigs of storage you got, watch how fast that shit disappears, all right? SD cards are important for some people. Now, for me, I'm kind of getting used to the fact of having no SD card because y'all remember I used to have my little wallet with all SD cards, all my Family Guy episodes, all my American Dad episodes. I kind of got rid of that. I don't really use it too much, but there's plenty of times when I'm on a flight and the in-flight movies is trash or sometimes the TV ain't working. I just want to I just want to peruse I, my Google photos and my old videos. I just want to see what's going down. I would love to have an SD card in my phone. I could just drop in and watch a movie. I, I'm getting used to not doing that, but again, a lot of people do want that. All right, so I don't like that. This is a $1,200 phone. Why not give us everything? All right, come on, Samsung. Y'all could do it. All right, it's not like y'all can't do it. Y'all could do it. No SD card slot. I don't like that. Next, no IR blaster. Now, I know what y'all getting ready to say. Samsung hasn't made an IR blaster on the phone in years. It is what it is get over it no i'm not getting over it I, i'm not getting over it because you got phones like these right here now these are two phones from last year this phone only have for a couple of months both of these phones ir blasters on the top and you would think that now's the perfect time to bring out the ir blaster all right everybody got tvs you remember a couple of years ago you know if you wanted a flat screen tv you had to pay a couple of dollars now you could go up in walmart you can spend a hundred bucks and get a 55 inch flat screen TV. So people got flat screen TVs everywhere, all right? Places in your house that you normally wouldn't put a TV, now you can. People got TVs in the garage. People got TVs in the bathroom, in the kitchen, mounted on the ceiling. I'm the type of person now, instead of hang, hanging paintings on the wall, every open space I got, I'm putting, a, I'm putting a flat screen. So this way when I walk past that screen, mirror share it to the, mirror share my phone to that screen and, and rock out. I got random fireplace videos on TVs that I don't even use just for nothing except for having a fireplace video. IR Blaster would come in handy in this day and age because everybody got mad TVs, everybody got fans and air conditioners and all of these products because most of the time when you think of IR Blaster, you think of TV. But it's bigger than that. It's bigger than that. I use my IR Blaster to control my air conditioner, to control my projector, to control my RGB lights. IR Blaster would come in so clutch right now, and that's part of the reason that I don't ever travel. I don't ever travel without having a Xiaomi phone with me. I don't care what phone it is, how old it is. If you got an IR Blaster, it's going in my bag. So this way, when I get in that hotel room, if the remote control don't work, you ever went to a hotel? Now look, I travel a lot, so I go, I'm in different hotels all the time. Sometimes you go in the hotel room, now the battery is kind of dying on the remote control. That could kill your whole vibe. You know, you're pressing the button over and over to change the channel, change the volume. It's just whack. Any hotel that I go to right now, I got the remote control in my pocket. Okay? In my pocket right now. All right, so IR blasters, it's not like Samsung doesn't know how to do it. They used to do it, and they used to do it big. Samsung, bring back the IR blaster. All right? I'm going to keep saying it until y'all bring it back, and sooner or later, y'all going to bring it back. All right, so no IR blaster, I don't like that. Next. Now, let's get into my um, petty, petty gripes. I, I know they call me Petty Roosevelt. So let's talk about my little petty gripes that I don't like. Number one, no notification LED. That's not a big deal because you do have always on display, but if you live in a scumbag life, you know what I'm saying, if you're a little scoundrel, you're gonna have your always on display off. You don't want nobody knowing how many messages you got. When you wanna go into clandestine mode, having a notification light is dope because this way, when you pick up your phone, you ain't gotta open it and check, you see that notification light, you know you got a missed message or you got a missed call. You know something went down, all right? Notification LED, I like, I, I, I like having that on my phone. Now, I like, I'm not a scumbag, so I don't really care about it per se, all right, per se, but I would like to see that, all right? Samsung used to have that big, bright notification light. Now it's gone. Next petty gripe, now, this is really not one of my gripes, but you know, this is a community channel and I asked y'all to tell me everything that y'all don't like. And a lot of people said, they don't like the fact that Samsung removed the MST sensor so you could use your phone as a credit card. 
Now you still got NFC, so you got tap and pay, but you don't have the MST sensor to use it as an actual credit card. For me, that's not really the biggest deal. I'm old school, I like taking out my credit card, handing it to the person, charge it to the game. You know what I'm saying? I like have I like having that little interaction. I just I, you know what I'm saying? There's some things I just like doing old school, so that ain't really my bag. The only time I really use that is when I'm walking past a vending machine. You know what I'm saying? I, I might pull out my iPhone and use Apple Pay on the vending machine. Other than that though, when I go in stores and go to gas stations and all that, I just use the debit card. So that's not really a big gripe for me, but y'all y'all cats that really use that, I mentioned it in the video, so if Samsung is watching, MST sensor, bring it back. Next, now this is this, this is ultra petty. I this is ultra petty, but Sam's like it's time to upgrade the animations. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me grab let me grab a little charger. I just it's time to upgrade these animations. Watch this. Now I'm gonna plug in my phone. All right, you see that animation? That's kind of trash. <laughs> That's kind of trash. It's time for an upgrade. This is the kind of stuff you want to see. Watch this. Now I'm gonna plug. I'm gonna, I'm gonna plug in this Xiaomi phone. You see that animation? Big and bright, and colorful and vibrant. You see that it looks like juice is being delivered. I right, what's the word I use? Injected. I right? <laughs> power is being injected directly to the phone. This is sick, yeah. This is sick. All right, so Samsung, it's time. I, uh, now, I do appreciate. Now, look, I got to give credit where credit is due. I do appreciate Samsung for upgrading One UI. All right, so One UI is a lot more vibrant. It's more colorful. It's, 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 it is definitely dope. But the little simple animations, you'd be surprised how long, how, how, how long, or how, actually how far that little simple anima animation goes in the satisfaction department, all right? It's just something so satisfying when I plug in these Xiaomi phones and I see that big blue charging ball right there. I, I, I love it compared to plugging this one in. Womp womp. <laughs> That's very underwhelming, all right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, so animations, Samsung is time for a refresh. Now, this is my last petty gripe, color choices. All right, now you do, I notice, I, I noticed Samsung did give us a few color choices with this. You got the titanium, you got the silver, you got the brown. You know what I'm saying? Of course, let me let me get a wipe down for this because I'm ready one more. <laughs> Woo! All right. <laughs> you got the phantom black, which is the best looking phone that I've ever used yet. So I'm not going to really knock them too much, but color choices. Imagine a phantom red. Imagine a phantom red with just all red, everything just red on the back, matte finish on this. That would have been sick. All right, that would have been sick. Color choices. Now, with the S21 Plus, you do get a few more color choices. You do got that red. But the thing I don't like about it is, it's like custom orders. All right, so you can't just go in the store like, let me get that red S21 Plus right now. No, they're talking about four to six weeks. Ain't nobody waiting four to six weeks for their new phone. I, no, you're not doing that. You Everybody out running around town on Instagram posting all the pictures of their new phone. You got the money in your pocket. You want your new phone. You don't want to wait. Hey, you don't want to wait. And phones like this, with this kind of build quality and this kind of look, you're not necessarily going to throw a case on it. Because I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, who cares about what color the phone is? All you're going to do is throw a case on it. No, you're not. I, speak for yourself. Everybody ain't throwing a case on their phone. Now me, I throw a case on my phone when I'm gonna do something that I know that might put the phone in jeopardy. All right, if I'm washing my car, riding my bike, going to the gym, then I'm gonna throw a case on the phone because I may drop it. But when I'm chilling in the house, there's no reason for me to be sitting in bed with a big bulky case on my phone. When I'm in bed, my phone is like this. All right, when I go to a restaurant, I take the phone, I take the phone out of my pocket, the case is coming off, in my pocket when I'm, when I'm at that restaurant table my phone is like this all right you need to see this all right so color choices samsung we need a few more color choices with these uh twelve hundred dollar phones now with that being said on a scale of one to ten all right because that, that seemed like a lot of dislikes i know i'm rambling on and on on a scale of one to ten the galaxy s21 ultra 5 gangster is a major 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 go i love this phone all right so let's talk about everything that i do like right after this quick commercial break all right y'all so we back in now let's talk about everything that i do like and i promise y'all i'm gonna try to make this quick all right first up the look 
I love the look of this phone. I, this is easily the best looking phone out right now, in my opinion. I know everybody's seen black phones before, but this Phantom Black and the way the camera looks, this phone just looks fast. I, it looks badass. Like I said, this is the secret agent phone. Now, before that, it was the Mi 10 Ultra. I love the look of this phone because of that transparent back. Right, Samsung, that's an idea. A transparent back on this phone would probably look sick too, but um, <laughs> the Wesley Snipes black, this is it right here, all right? The look of this phone is everything. Like I said, you're not gonna wanna use a case. You're gonna wanna enjoy this. All right, so I love the look of this phone. Next, the build quality. All right, now of course, it's water resistant. You got Gorilla Glass Victus, all right? Strongest Gorilla Glass on the market. No fingerprints on the back. The build quality is A1. Now, this is my second favorite built phone. The first, I gotta go with the iPhone 12 Pro Max, all right? This is my favorite built phone, and that's because of these thick sides, the way it feels like a big, thick square, and the flat screen, all right? Now, even though this on your Galaxy S21, you got the subtle curves, but it kind of feels flat, but you still feel that curve. You're not gonna get accidental pressures, but you can still feel the curve. I love this ultra flat panel, all right? Look at this. This is how I love it, all right? <laughs> a flat panel, and the best thing about the new iPhones is the way it feels like this square right here, all right? This is the best built phone out right now, in my opinion. This is the phone that I never put a case on, and I just love holding this phone, and I love it. Mm. Mm. Anyway, <laughs> build quality though, on, <laughs> I know, calm down. Build quality on the uh, S21 Ultra 5 Gangster is A1, all right? So the look, the feel, the build quality, you're gonna love it. Next, let's talk about the feel of the phone, all right? How does this phone make you feel emotionally? Right? <laughs> because phones have a feel. When you pull out your iPhone, emotionally, you feel trendy, all right, you feel like, all right, you feel like your favorite, your favorite actor, your favorite, your favorite celebrity that you follow on Instagram, they all holding an iPhone. You feel like you're right up to date with everybody else. All right, so you got a good emotional feel with the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Galaxy, same thing, all right? The feel of this phone emotionally, you're gonna, you're gonna feel like when you pull this phone out, anybody that has an iPhone, they a peasant, all right? You're gonna, you're gonna feel like you just above them. <laughs> you, you, you're gonna feel like, I hate to say it like this, but you're gonna feel like you better than them. And and technically you are, all right? If you got the Galaxy S21 and your friend got a Gal uh, an iPhone 12 Pro Max, you're better than them, all right? They're a peasant, you're a boss, all right? That's how you're gonna feel. Now, of course, y'all know I'm just kidding. All right, y'all know I'm just kidding. Oh, all y'all calm down, I'm just kidding. But I'm really not, all right, I'm really not. You're better than them, all right? Remember that, all right? <laughs> you spent 1200 bucks, you're better than them. Nevertheless, you're gonna feel great emotionally because you're gonna know you got the top of the food chain. And like I said, this look right here, buy it in phantom black. All right, do yourself a favor, buy it in phantom black. The silver one looks nice too, but buy it in phantom black. Next, opening up the phone. Now this is important, all right? This is important, opening up the phone. There's a bunch of different ways you can open up your phone. Now you can swipe up, put in your pattern or your pin. Now that's one of the things, if you see my um, my iPhone review that I didn't like, opening up your iPhone, you only got two choices. You got face unlock, and if you're wearing your coronavirus mask, you can't use that. You could jerry rig a, a version of using that, but basically you're not gonna be able to really use that. And then you gotta put in your, 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 your numerical pin, all right? Numerical pin. I don't like that. I, I don't like only having two options to be able to open up the phone. I don't like that. With your Galaxy S21 Ultra 5 Gangster, like I said, you can swipe up, put in your numerical pin if you want, and then you also have patterns, all right? I like using a pattern instead of using, you know, somebody over your shoulder. It's easy for me right now to just go like this, and then I can easily change that later. But as far as somebody right over your shoulder and they watching you put in your, your, your numerical pin, they have to keep changing those. <laughs> now I'm speaking on um, for a scumbag status, but I just don't like that. I don't, I don't like being limited. I don't like, put it like that, I don't like being limited. So with your Galaxy, you can swipe up, put in your pattern, your pin. You got face unlock, which works super fast. Now I disable face unlock because I'm basically wearing a mask all the time, so I don't really need it. Not to mention, one of the reasons why I disable face unlock is because of these beautiful live lock screen wallpapers. 
Now, I'll leave a link, matter of fact, right now. And I'm gonna leave a little annotation in the video right now. If you like these lock screens and you wanna learn how to get them, these look sick. I look at this. This is part of the reason why I disable face unlock, because if you got face unlock, you're not gonna be able to play the whole video. Watch this one, let's see which one I got on this one. Okay, with this one, check this out. Got the Statue of Liberty. Watch the Freedom Tower pop up in the background. Hold on, here it comes, here it comes. Here it comes, bong, there it is. Right there, right there. Sick, all right? Now, this is a good way if you wanna stun on your friends that have iPhones, all right? You, 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 know, you know any iPhone peasants out there and you wanna shut them down real quick? Before you even start talking about reverse wireless charging and all of the stuff that, you know, the space zoom, before you even start talking about that, just open your phone and go like this. You better hold it, check this out. I right, shut up. <laughs> all right, all right. Anytime I get into phone wars with, with my little iPhone friends, I just be like, yo, first of all, you see this right here? You see that? I didn't even open the phone yet and I'm already shutting you down. And then you see that right there on the bottom? Fingerprint sensor. All right, nowadays with all this corona stuff, you need a fingerprint sensor. And like I said, they made the fingerprint sensor a little bit bigger, so now it works 100% of the time. You don't have to turn it on, all right? You can do it while the screen is off, bang. Fingerprint sensor is nice and fast now. I Personally, I just I always press the button because I like to get a little lock, look at my lock screen. But look, look at this, all right? You don't have, remember on the old Galaxy, you had to go like this. Now, you don't, you, you don't gotta do that. One touch and it's right open. All right, so you got multiple ways of opening up your device. Fingerprint sensor, face unlock, numerical pin, and the pattern. You also got on body detection. All right, so if you got your Galaxy watch on, you could set your phone to unlock as long as it's in proximity to your watch. Big words alert. I'm on a rampage today with the big words, yo. <laughs> but, but, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But anyway, you can, you can set it up where as long as you got your watch in proximity to your phone, it's always just gonna be unlocked. So now you leave your phone on the table and you lock it and you walk away, somebody's gonna pick up your phone they can't just go in it because your watch is not within range, so it won't open, all right? So multiple ways of opening up your device. I love that. Next, always on display, all right? Now, Samsung makes the best always on display on the market. If you want to, you can have a little animated animated image, all right? If you want to, you can be very vain like me and put a picture of yourself, all right? If you're a douchebag, or you can throw a nice car up there or whatever. One of the best things about the Samsung always on display, now it's hard to see on this video, but this is what the brightest always on display on the market, and not to mention, you could change you could change the uh, brightness. You see? Now you can have it on automatic brightness, or you can leave it on max brightness. Now right now, it looks like it's dim because I'm sitting under this bright light. But if it was completely dark, look how bright that always on display is. All right, so if you got your phone on a nice dock, across the room you could wake up in the middle of the night glance over you could clearly see what time it is all right you can see your messages now it's not going to give you a readout of the messages but you can see i got facebook requests i got a voicemail you know what i'm saying but look how bright that is all right always on display i love it and that's part of the reason why i always say the iphone can never be my main phone all right I'm just so used to simple stuff like this that I take it for granted now, having an always on display, because my phone is always on a wireless charging dock like this, and in the middle of the night, I always look over and glance at my phone. Even sometimes when the phone is in the bed with me, just being able to look at the phone and see what time it is, that's a huge, that's a huge plus, all right? Always on display. Next, let's talk about the actual phone display. <laughs> don't troll me, Samsung. I, <laughs> after I just talking about the fingerprint sensor, don't troll me like that. I, the, I, no, no, I didn't press it hard enough. I'm gonna do that again. Let's just make sure. I, I thought I was getting trolled just now. All right, there it is. All right, maybe I went like this. Nevertheless, I digress back to this display. All right, this is one of the most beautiful phone displays that you're gonna see. Probably, probably the best. Now, let's see what Sony's coming out with, because you know, Sony, Sony kills it with phone displays, but their phones are usually trash. This is one of the best displays you're gonna see, all right? 120 hertz refresh rate, all right? Super smooth. This display is just beautiful, all right? Super saturated. Now, of course, you could go to settings. You could change it from vivid to natural. You can make it warmer or cooler. I like it to be ultra saturated, all right? I like my colors to look nice and vibrant, nice and wet and moist. 
<laughs> uh, when's the last time you described your phone's display as moist? All right, whatever. This is one of the best phone displays you're gonna find, all right? It's beautiful, you're gonna love it, all right? You're gonna love it. Matter of fact, matter of fact, let's pull up a video real quick. Matter of fact, okay, I'll, I'll do that in a minute. I'll do that in a minute. Let me, let, let me not lose my train of thought. All right, so the display. Beautiful, 120 hertz refresh rate. <laughs> 120 hertz refresh rate. The immaculate scrolling speeds. Look at this. Everybody's picture just looks extra beautiful. All right, look at my dude, Simply Pops. What's he doing out here? All right, shout, yo, shout out to Simply Pops. All right, 100,000 subscribers out here, out here doing it big. Yo, you're walking around with the plaque outside in the park. Yo, Pops, you, you, you a savage, yo. Pops the type of dude that walk around. You're going to be in the diner with that plaque, yo. <laughs> Matter of fact, let me get it. Let me get it like that. Let me get it like that, too. <laughs> oh, I shot to my dude, Graf. Like I said, though, 120 hertz refresh rate, scrolling speeds, immaculate. All right? So I love the display on this phone. Next, speaking about display and uh, processing speeds, let's talk about the processor. Speaking about refresh rates and all that. That's not gonna help you if you got a trash processor, all right, because no matter how beautiful the display is, if your phone is lagging all over the place, you're not gonna like that. Snapdragon 888, hold up, I got it right here. Hold up. Bung, all right, this is, the, this, this is what's in this phone right here. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 888, five gangster, all right? This is the top of the food chain. You got it in your Galaxy S21 Ultra 5 gangster. This phone is immaculately smooth. All right, this is one of the smoothest Android phones that I've ever used. Now look, and that's coming from somebody who had Nexuses and OnePlus and Pixels and all that. Finally, all right, finally Samsung is right up there on par with smoothness as the Pixel. All right, somebody challenge me if y'all don't believe me. All right, challenge me to a smoothness test. Bring out your Pixel, I will shut you down with this Galaxy. And part of that is due to One UI because Samsung phones They've always been equal with everything else with OnePlus and the, and the Pixel phones and all that. But the thing that's always slowed them down was TouchWiz. All right, TouchWiz always made the phone kind of kind of gimmicky and laggy a little bit here and there. Once they got rid of TouchWiz, you notice lag, lag went out the window. And now with One UI, every update, every refresh with One UI is just making this phone even more smooth. Now, here's, here's one of the things that I love about this Galaxy phone too. If you swipe over, remember you used to have, um, what they used to call this when you swiped over? Um, I forgot the name of that actual app that it was, but I know when um, your, your news feed and all that. This is sick, all right? When you swipe over, you see on the bottom, you got three tabs. You got watch, read, and play. Now, if I put it on watch, this is a regular TV right now. Check this out. This is your TV guide. Say I want to watch, uh, let's see, Unsolved Mysteries. Bang, Unsolved Mysteries right there. Now, of course, I can flip it over, put it in full screen, and just chill and watch Unsolved Mysteries right from the phone, yeah? This is dope. And there's a full TV guy right here on the bottom. Let's see, anything else? Um, Something on Fox, Fox Soul. I resume it in one minute. Let's see, oh, Star Trek. Hold up, I just seen Star Trek. Let's throw on Star Trek. What's this, First Contact? This is the actual movie. Now, yeah, this is the actual movie. Now, I don't got the sound on, but this is dope. All right, this is dope. This is, you got entertainment. You got news and opinions. All right. You got sports and outdoors, lifestyle, Latino, tech and gaming, movies, music. This is sick. This is just a stock feature. You don't got to pay for this. This is built into the phone. Now, if you want to read, got all your different articles. All right. You know what I'm saying? You got news, entertainment, sports, tech. You know what I'm saying? This is real dope. And then you got play. Now, I don't really download all of these games and play them too much, but there is one that, that's kind of fun. It's the uh, darts. All right. Now, I'm not even going to download it. But darts, it's just, it's just a little, it's just a, you know, you standing on line waiting to buy something. This is just a little time killer right here, all right? But this, um, this app right here, when you swipe over, like I said, it's built into the phone. It's a go, right? You're gonna love that. Now, where was we? We were talking about processor, all right? This phone is super fast, no lag at all. Let me show you some of the features real quick. Let's open up Twitter. Let's see, here's all the apps I had open in the background. Now from Twitter, let's open in the split screen view. Let's open up, ah, da, 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 da. let's open up anything safe. <laughs> Let me see, hold on a second. Let's open up maps on the bottom, all right? So we got maps. You can switch them up if you want. Exit out of that. Now from Twitter, 
Let's try this again. So this time, we'll open up in a pop-up. All right, so there's the pop-up view. Now, if I want to, I can change the transparency of that. But for fun, let's just, um, you see, like, now this is actual window. Let's minimize this into a little ball. Let's open up Facebook, okay? So now I'm on Facebook. Shout out to my cuz. All right, looking good. <laughs> he younger than me, believe it or not. Look at that beard. He younger than me. <laughs> ah, ah, shout out to my cuz, though, yo. You know, looking mad old. I love it, though. All right, anyway, let's open up Facebook. Now, from Facebook, uh, hold on a second. All right, shout out to Amaya. Look at Amaya, man. Look how grown she look. Shout out to Amaya, looking very beautiful. This is my favorite picture. I posted this on the gram. Nevertheless, all right, so Facebook. Let's move that Twitter out the way. Let's open this as pop-up. Let's minimize this. Bang. So now we got two apps minimized, and I'm still doing my thing. So let's go over to Instagram. So now I'm on Instagram. If I said, you know what? Oh, I seen a picture I like. Let's see this. Okay. Team Max saw somebody about to rap. I want to I wanna quickly share this to Facebook. I'm back on Facebook again. Back on Twitter again. All right. This is the definition of multitasking. Multitasking with no lag at all. All right, I love it. So the processing speed on this phone is gonna make you wanna use it even more heavy. That's why I said it should have a bigger battery because once you get the hang of this phone, you're gonna have 10 apps open at the background, you're gonna be going crazy. Now, of course, you got your edge panels. All right, so you see I got all my recently used apps. If I want to, I could do a split screen, YouTube and Samsung. Now, I'm not gonna press that button because I didn't clear my browser history, so. <laughs> Let me let me just do, let me let's, let's see what would happen. Let's see what would have happened if I would have did. I right, good good good. This, right, so it went to Samsung Internet and YouTube at the same time. All right, so hold up now. All right, so now that I know it's safe, let me try it again. All right, press one button, bong. All right, you see you still got your edge lighting. I right, just got a notification edge lighting went off. YouTube and Internet at the bottom at the same time. Exit out of that, bong. Now for edge panels. We also got live messages. I got all my people that I contact the most. You got your apps edge. Now this is not apps edge, this is your utility edge. Let me show you how I use this the most though. Take it over to Instagram. All right, you're gonna love this. I right, shout out to my man, Brandon Carter. This motherfucker look like an action figure. <laughs> oh, that's my dude right there. All right, let me, let, let's see. Is there anything I wanna repost? All right, check this out. Now say I want to repost this Beamer, right? Hit rectangle. Bong, you notice it automatically sized that picture. I hit done. Now if I want to, I can extract the text out of it, I can share it, or I can just save it. Now watch this. Now, <laughs> now say, I want to, say I want to save this picture, hit rectangle, bong, it automatically goes to that size. So it automatically sizes the picture. Let's see if I can find a picture that's a little bit more narrow. Let's go to, um, matter of fact, but you get the idea. I know, I'm not gonna waste too much time with this. Rectangle, oval, animated GIFs. Let's go to uh, YouTube real quick. I say I wanna make a little animated GIF. Let's pull up, um, all right, check this out. Now this is the type of shit I be watching, 10 hour fireplace, like I was saying. I got TV screens all over the crib and they all play in 10 hour fireplaces, right? Now I say I wanna make a little animated GIF out of that. Let's put it into, into frame, right? Hit record. Let it record for a few minutes. Now you got up to 15 seconds if you want. And bang, there it is. Just made a quick animated GIF. And I could go ahead and share that, save it, do what I want, do whatever I want with it. That's pretty dope. Now y'all notice, you got your swipe gestures. All right, let's hit close all. Real dope. All right, so let's see, any other edge panels y'all need to see? These are basically more utility stuff. Got the weather. Got a compass, got reminders. And if you want, you can go to settings and add more. All right, you got Samsung Milk Music, Clipboard, go to Galaxy Store. There's a thousand different edges you can have activated at the same time. All right, so the multitasking, processing speed on this phone, A1. Next, let's take it over to the, let's take it over to speakers, all right? Dual stereo speakers, listen to these speakers. All right, so I got the official Flossy Carter sound test by my homeboy, Mark Rubier. Here we go. Yo, sound test, tough a sound test. Everybody shut your mouth, tough a sound test. Time to 
test that quality the sound test. How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound now? How's it sound now? Does it sound big? Does it sound loud? How's the bass, baby? How's the treble on it? How's it sound now? How's it sound now? That's a sound test. That's a motherfucking sound test. Sound test. That's a sound test, baby. That's a sound test. That's a motherfucking sound test. How's the sound on that shit? God damn it, how I... Dual speakers cover the bottom speaker. You know how loud the top still is? How's the sound, white shoes? How's the sound on it? Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Rabier. All right, now I was just about to pull up a video so y'all can see this beautiful display. And guess who showed up for work? Late, but still great. Ladies and gentlemen, White Shoes is back in the building. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. White shoes. I love my white shoes. Calm down. All right, you all late. All right, here we go. Take a look at this video so you can see this beautiful dynamic AMOLED panel. Watch this. Basically, edge to edge display. This is sick. This is how you want to watch your videos your Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, whatever you're into. Excellent viewing angles. Basically, just a little cutout for the camera, but all screen display. Let's go. All right, now, as far as gaming, there's no reason for me to do my usual test and play some Asphalt 9. I do that test when I'm testing mid-range phones to see if there's going to be any hiccups. This is Snapdragon 888. You can run any game on the Android market flawlessly. All right, so no reason for me to waste time showing that gaming is a beast on this. Next, let's talk about the camera. Now, of course, you got your world star hip hop button. Press the power button twice, bang, that brings up your camera. Now you got a bunch of different modes. You got single take, you got photos, all right, wide angle, 10 times zoom, all the way up to 100 times scumbag zoom. Now let's click on 100 times. Now this is what I was talking about. You see when you try to zoom, the images is gonna be real shaky. Bong. Now you got zoom lock. All right, so you're gonna be able to get a dope picture. I'm gonna show you how that looks in a minute. You got videos, which you could do wide angle videos, all the way up to 20 times zoom videos. All right, that's pretty dope. And if you hit more, you got your Bixby Vision, your AR Zone, AR Doodle, you got Pro Mode, Panorama, Food, Night Mode, Portrait mode, portrait video mode, all right, that's sick. You got pro mode, super slow motion, slow motion, hyperlapse, and director's view. Now, director's view is basically the video camera and your, <laughs> your face at the same time. All right, so dual screen recording. That's pretty dope. All right, now I want to show y'all some pictures and videos that I took, but real quick, I just want to pull up something. Let me go over my gallery, uh, go, go over to the gallery. I want to show y'all how this uh, super zoom actually looks. Okay, matter of fact, it's on this phone right here. I want to show y'all some pictures that I took using Super Zoom. Now, I'm going to throw these in the camera reel, but watch this. All right, I just want to explain to you what you're going to be looking at. All right, now, I'm standing on the corner taking a picture of this building, right? Now, look at that sign. You see that sign right there? That little white sign? You see how far I am? Zoom in a little closer. Zoom in a little closer. Hit Zoom Lock. Zoom in a little closer. Taking a scumbag zoom, look at this. That's the sign right there. You can easily see that sign and read it. I right, And read it from look how far away I am. All the way across the street, down the block. All right, scumbag zoom is so sick on this phone. Matter of fact, take a look at these text pictures and videos. Oh, real quick, one more thing I wanted to mention. Somebody asked me when it comes to cameras, which one do I like better, the Galaxy or the iPhone? 
And I got to be honest with you, all right? If you enter just point and shoot, all right? If you want point and shoot status, go with the iPhone, all right? Go with the iPhone. The Galaxy, it does take dope pictures, but a lot of people complain that the pictures are too saturated. The thing about using a Galaxy camera is you got to know what you're doing, all right? You, the, the Galaxy camera is not really made for point and shoot. Galaxy camera, you're going to have to activate pro mode and tweak the settings you could get some of the best pictures that you've ever seen on a cell phone using the Galaxy camera, but it's just not point and shoot. All right, if you use point and shoot and you don't want to take no time, go with the iPhone. All right, but if you got time to play with, take out your Galaxy, go to night mode, go to pro mode, adjust the settings. All right, take a look at these test pictures and videos for yourself. All right, so now let's talk about another dope feature, PowerShare, also known as reverse wireless charging. All right, if you got an iPhone, eat your heart out. Here's how it works. I'm gonna unlock the phone. Let's go to the toggles real quick. Let's go to PowerShare. All right, so I turn on PowerShare. Now I can charge other devices right from the back of my phone. How dope is that? So you can charge your Galaxy Watch, you can charge your earbuds, you can actually charge another phone. <laughs> All right, Apple, y'all need this feature. Y'all better play catch up. PowerShare, also known as reverse wireless charging. This saved me so many nights. All right, every time I go out to dinner, I always tell the same story. Every time I hang out with Amaya, her phone battery is always on 10%. So when we sit down to eat, we're going to talk anyway. I always turn on PowerShare. The first question she asked me, Dad, you got your Galaxy on you? Yep. Can you turn on PowerShare and charge my iPhone? Yep. 
I let it charge. So by the time we finished eating dinner, her phone went from 10% to maybe 20%. But that's still better than better than nothing. And nobody's walking around with a charger. All right, so reverse power, reverse wireless charging, also known as power share, that's a major go. Now, let's talk about another dope feature, Samsung DeX. And not only Samsung DeX, wireless Samsung DeX. This is like basically walking around with a laptop built into your phone, all right? All you need is an external monitor or TV, and now you got a phone and a laptop together. Here's how DeX looks. All right, now let me show you how I use Samsung DeX. Now I'm gonna wirelessly connect to my TV and use the phone as a laptop, and I'll still be able to use the phone. So we're gonna scroll down. Let's turn on Samsung DeX. Hit start. Let it connect. And there it is. Now watch this, from the phone, I'm gonna use my phone as a trackpad. So now you see, scrolling around, let's go to Samsung internet. Just like that. Now here's some of the different tabs I had open. Say I wanna watch Apple TV. I can take it over to Apple TV and watch a movie, but from the phone, I can exit out and take it over to Instagram and start scrolling on Instagram, doing my thing. At any moment, I can go back, use the phone as a trackpad. Let's see, uh, let's see what's going on with OnePlus. Full website, completely wireless. Let's take it over to Amazon, do a little shopping. Now I can be shopping on the big screen, using the phone as a trackpad. I can watch a movie. And like I said, I can exit out and still completely use my phone. This is a major go. All right, so next up, let's talk about accessories. Now, one of the things that I love about Galaxy phones is there's gonna be no shortage of accessories. Now, a lot of people always ask me, how come I don't do case videos for the Mi 10 Ultra, <laughs> case videos for the Poco phone? Phones like this, you're not gonna have a wide variety of accessories available. You're not. You're never going to find a UAG Monarch case for the Mi 10 Ultra. It's not happening. When you buy an iPhone, you buy a Galaxy, you got unlimited cases and accessories from every manufacturer. Now, y'all seen all my case videos. My favorite one so far, I like this one, the silicone cover with the S Pen, all right, if I'm going to be using my S Pen. But if not, two of my favorite cases, the standard Samsung leather case and the standard Samsung clear case. All right, the clear case, if I want to showcase the color of my phone, but on a day-to-day -day basis, you'll always find me rocking a leather case. It just looks so classy. It's very sleek. This is my style. All right, so if you're into accessories, no shortage of phone cases, no shortage of accessories. Now, one of the main accessories that I'm looking forward to, y'all remember I did a video for Peak Design, the Peak Mobile? I can't wait for the Peak Mobile case because I already put that mount in my car. Pataka, all right, Pataka makes a dope carbon fiber case. Again, you're gonna go crazy with accessories, all right? So that's part of the reason why you love these, uh, why you buy these uh, Galaxy phones, because you want accessories. Now, you buy these uh, Xiaomi phones, you got the clear case that comes in the box, that's pretty much it. You might go online and find some on Amazon, some ESR or some, you know, these little knickknack companies might make a little TPU style case. But like I said, you're not gonna find the Pataka, the UAG. You're not even gonna find speaking cases for most of these little knickknack phones. So accessories, you could go crazy. Now, let's wrap this up. Last but not least, the floss factor. All right, now, if you're new to my channel and you don't know what the floss factor is, that means when you're sitting around at that bar or that restaurant or at your friend's house and everybody's pulling out their phones, somebody pulls out an iPhone, somebody pulls out the Xiaomi, somebody pulls out a OnePlus, somebody pulls out a Pixel, and you pull out your Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra 5 Gangster, where do you fit in on the food chain, all right? Are you on the top, like an apex predator, or are you on the bottom, looking like lunch meat, all right? Well, to be simple and plain with it, this is the top of the food chain, all right? You are an official apex predator. There's only a couple of people that could, that could eat you, all right? Somebody pull out a Galaxy Z Fold 2, you know, you, you're gonna be looking like you're gonna be looking like an appetizer. You're gonna be looking kind of tasty. All right, somebody pulls out a Galaxy Note 20. Both of y'all, this is like a lion and this is a tiger. All right, both of y'all apex predators. 
You have nothing to worry about, all right? If you got this phone, you're on top of the food chain, you're one of the goats, all right? Now, somebody pull out an iPhone 12 Pro Max. iPhone 12 Pro Max, this is an Apex Predator 2, but if y'all want to sit down and have a phone war, you're going to win. Because remember what I said earlier, you're better than them, all right? Just remember that in the back of your mind, you're better than them. So you already won, but if you want to get to a phone war, bro, video lock screen, always on display, fingerprint sensor, split screen multitasking, reverse wireless charge. And that's just off the top of my head without even thinking. All right? If I really sit back and think, I will destroy you. All right? So if you want to have a phone war with me, you better not pull out an iPhone because I will destroy you because I'm better than you. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. Come on, I'm just kidding, man. All right, I'm just kidding. We're just talking about phones here. All right? well, I'm just kidding, man. There ain't nobody better than nobody. We all. It's, it, it's a shame that I even got to say this. I, you know, I can't even let a good joke stand. I always got to. I always got to kill the joke with a little apology at the end because I got people. Oh, 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 my son! I just bought my son an iPhone. You, you're not better than my. I'm just kidding. I right, calm down. I'm just kidding. But I'm better than you. Right. <laughs> anyway. Floss fact on this, through the roof, you're an apex predator, you're a goat. Let's wrap this up. On a scale of one to 10, Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra 5 Gangster is a major, major, major go. Buy this, all right? Don't just buy it, buy it immediately. Now, Samsung does have some dope trade-ins, all right? So if you really wanna get rid of that S20 because of the little, the little uh, camera focus issues or maybe you just don't like the back with the fingerprints, maybe you don't like the back camera hump, now's the time, don't wait. You could probably get around six to 700 bucks for this S20, you know what I'm saying? Add the rest for yourself. You're gonna keep this for at least a year, all right? Now, real quick, as far as the smaller version, I like it, but it ain't really my style, it's too small. So I ain't, gonna, I ain't really gonna waste too much time on it. As far as the way the phone works, flawless, all right? It works exactly the same, same video lock screen. Everything that I like about these phones is the same. This one has the plastic back, all right? Plastic back, but it doesn't feel like cheap plastic. Like I was saying in my unboxing video, this, this might be the future, all right? If they could somehow just make this phone, to me, to make it feel a little more premium, if the phone was a little bit more heavier, I, uh, now look, maybe you want the lightness, but for me, if this was a little bit more heavier, this plastic back on the back, I, hold, on, hold on, let me say that again. This plastic back on the back, <laughs> that, that came out weird. All right, this plastic back on the back is a go though, all right, because it's gonna be more durable than glass and you still get wireless charge, you still get reverse wireless charge, and you get peace of mind. You drop it down the stairs, you got Gorilla Glass on the front, maybe you throw a drop of screen protector if you want, but you don't have to worry about cracking the back of your phone. All right, so if you're buying this for a little kid, or if you got butterfingeritis, you might want to go with the plastic back. All right, shoes. <laughs> shoes just popped in. Oh. Anyway, as far as the plus version, I don't know why would you get the plus version instead of just spending a couple of dollars more and go with the ultra. I I don't know. Now, as far as the plus version, it's dope. It works. You know, everything is flawless on it. It's basically just a little bit of watered down version of the ultra. But um, you know what I'm saying? It's like it's like Jay-Z said, if you got enough money for the five, why not the six? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't make sense for me to buy this phone. You know what I'm saying? If if you only got a thousand dollars, wait. All right, if you only got a thousand dollars, wait. Save up an extra two hundred bucks and get the big boy. All right. Do yourself a favor, get the big boy. I'm not knocking this phone, there's nothing wrong with it. But why not get the big boy? If you if you first of all, if you want a big phone, they're both basically the same size. Go for the big boy. Shoes, what you think? <laughs> I, I shoes is going for the big boy. Anyway, now I know this video might be kind of long. It is what it is. Like I said, it's not a professional video. I'm just chilling with my boys and my girls. <laughs> Let me say that right. Chilling with my chilling with the ladies. I right? chilling with my ladies, not my ladies. <laughs> chilling with the ladies. Chilling with the homies. <laughs> I right, like this whole video is a train wreck, but it's my train wreck. Nevertheless. Triple major go, top of the food chain, apex predator status. You're going to love this, right? Apex predator status. <laughs> Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. And um, I don't know what's coming up next this week. I got the JBL. You ever, you ever seen the JBL base on the go? I got that big portable car speaker. I got one of those. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me to review these. So I got these on deck. Right, we're gonna get into the Anchor Sound course. I got all the new JBL headphones, all the new Skull Candies. Got everything, I right? <laughs> got everything. No, I don't got everything, I ain't got shit. Anyway, 
Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google Gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, Stream Gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I'll see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and pitch and be rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock won the beam up. Energize. Everybody in the world uses technology. And if you're gonna buy some of that technology, you gotta understand certain things. Subscribe to Flossy Carter. He does reviews of all the latest technology. The iPhones, the iPads, the Galaxies, the Samsungs, whatever the fuck. The Beats by that doctor guy. And he puts his kitty cat in the videos too for you something to look at. You know, I'm an animal lover, so I like that shit. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, the Flossy Carter on the YouTube, the follow button on the Insta face, and the like button on the face look. Because if you don't, we're going to have a fucking problem here. A bad one. Now hit the fucking subscribe button.